the technology used in these very high energy accelerators, which involves voltages of up to 15 million volts, is a very specific technology and it needs a great deal of experience to keep a machine like this operating. The academic and technical staff really work together as a team and that can be illustrated by our development of new detector systems where we have an idea and then we go to the technical staff and they work out whether it's sensible, how to achieve it and then design and construct the apparatus itself. It's a real marriage between you know, the researchers to help them be at the forefront of their science and it's pretty important to get the best out of each other, the best results uh, to help them you know, stay at the forefront of their science and, and even be world leading in lots of what we do at ANU. I have always felt that as academics, we get to see the impact of our work when we present it at an interna international conference or our paper gets lots of citations. The technical staff never get to have that satisfaction which the academic staff have and they do not have the resources for people to go overseas, learn present things. I have always felt that for the last 10 years and this time I thought, okay, I will like to actually put in some money and have the endowment fund and I was talking to David in his office because he is the head of the department and uh, Keith Fifield happened to be there as well and I said oh I was thinking about that and um, and Keith said oh I was thinking and I'll put in some money and David said oh yeah I'll put in some money too and that's that's how how simple it was. It gives opportunities to travel to overseas conferences, to visit overseas labs and uh, learn new techniques and also we hope it can be used as uh, seed funding to trigger new initiatives as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty special that they are willing to do that. I think it's a bit unique. I mean, they're not just here to take a wage home and they're willing to reinvest back into the workplace and the people that are providing good support back to them and willingly doing that. Uh, the endowment funding has allowed me to travel to two international conferences and that has uh, taught me so much. The rate of learning increases dramatically once you're, you're out there and you get exposure that you otherwise wouldn't have. You really need to be able to talk to people to understand the history of their, with where these machines have come from and where they're going and, and how you have to put all that knowledge together in terms of maintaining and developing to make it last. You know, 10, 20, 30 years into the future. Some people actually came and said, oh, that was a very good idea. And it was quite interesting, one of the persons said, yeah, it doesn't surprise me coming from you in, in this case, but in all of us. I think because we are like a family, I think that is very important.